whenever I work with my clients, let it be on code, private coaching or in different programs that I offer, productivity and routines always come through in our conversation. Because obviously you can have a beautiful mission. You can have a lot of big difference that you want to make, but if they're just ideas, it's worth nothing. So I'm a very down to earth person. And I like coming back to, all right, when are we doing it? What are the intentional actions that we're going to have? So in these conversations, they often, I often have questions about what are, what is my morning routine? Probably because there's a big trend on, you know, having a productive morning routine. And these are the seven things you should be doing to be a high performer in, in your day. And there's a lot of conversation about that. So my morning routine is really simple. I usually get up, uh, my alarm clock goes on around 5.15 and it's really just there more of as, you know, accessory or anything. It's my natural time to wake up. And then I will meditate for 15, 20 minutes. And then from there, I will go and work out for usually about an hour. Once I'm doing done my workout, then I'll have breakfast with my, I actually don't have breakfast. My kids have breakfast. Um, and then from usually eight till nine, I will read. And from nine to 10, I will apply what I read. What I mean there is that I will take what I read and I will put it somewhere where I can actually execute on it. So if I'm reading an article that I think it's a good topic and I would like to research to either do an episode on it or to write an article on it, I will make put that in, actually in that folder. If it's something that I want to embody or that I want to integrate in one of my programs, I'll actually put it there. So I'll actually from nine to 10, I will integrate whatever I've learned somewhere. And it could be sometimes even sharing it on social media. So my morning is very simple, yet very structured. Now, here's the reality. Is my morning routine always like that? Do I always wake up and do an apple cider vinegar tea? And do I always meditate? Do I always work out? Do I always? No. And that's the thing that we're missing is we have all these amazing influencers that are sharing their morning, morning routine, except one part. Sometimes it doesn't happen and it's okay. This morning from, I woke up at five, from five to six, I actually laid in bed. I didn't meditate. I didn't. And you know what? It's okay. I took that time and I vision and I made stories and I was like, all right, so what would I like to do? What do I want to work on next? And and it's okay. Where it would have been maybe problematic is if I would have stayed in bed and languish and, oh, I haven't done this and there's this problem and this one I want to do. It's the energy that I want to have, that I'm, that I'm living in. My point here is your morning routine doesn't matter. Yes, you want to have structure. You want to start your day set up right in the right energy. So if for you meditating is great, all the power for you. If meditating for you is not, you prefer journaling, all the power for you. Find something that puts you in a state that you feel awesome. So I remember when I used to go into the gym, when the gyms were open and I used to go in the gyms, I would I leave the gym and I would always say the same thing at the, at the, recept the girl at the, at the reception was, all right, enjoy your day. I'm off conquering the world. That is the state that you want to work in, that you want to start your day with. So other people's routine work for other people. Find your routine that works for you, that puts you in the state that you can conquer the world. That is what happens. And from there, once you find your way that it actually you feel outstanding, do it. And the days that you don't, it's okay. That too is perfect. Tomorrow is another day. So leave, let's leave other people's routine to other because it works for them. Find something that puts you in the state that you want to be in. And that is your best morning routine. That's it. That's all. Because once we figure out what's good for us, what puts us in a 
and an amazing state, that is when we see that bring it on so much more is possible. Thank you for being here week after week, and I will see you next Tuesday.